Well, hello everyone, it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for another video and another video showcasing one of Simon Says Stamps, Stamp Timber exclusive stamp sets. So are you ready? Today is the reveal of the Gina K Designs Stamp Timber exclusive Shimmering Snowflakes. This beautiful six by eight stamp set is available with coordinating dies. If you'd like to purchase it with the dies, you can buy it stamps and dies, or you can buy the stamp set alone. So I have links to all that in the video description if you're interested. This stamp set is really unique because the snowflakes are huge and they fill up a card beautifully. One of the stamps in particular even has a space where you could stamp a sentiment in the middle of a little banner. Well, I'm going to be using this stamp set today and the coordinating dies to create a very icy snowflake card. I was really inspired by Tim Holtz's YouTube live where he showcased the new icicle crackle paste. And I really wanted to create an icy effect behind my snowflake. So that's what the direction I'm going to go with today. I'm going to start first by doing a little bit of ink blending. Now, typically I would oftentimes for this kind of technique reach for some distress inks, but I actually decided to try oxides this time and I really love how it looked. So I used salvage patina and shaded lilac for the two colors, just those two, and I'm gonna ink blend them right in the middle of my panel here. This is some Strathmore Bristol paper, really nice smooth paper. It takes water nicely, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm adding some water splatters. We're gonna layer this up. We're not done yet. I'm gonna go ahead and take the new distress mica stain. This is the blue shade. This one's called Snow Flurries. And I'm just going to splatter a few of these drops of the Snow Flurries spray onto my panel. And that's because I'm going to then take water and mist that so it gets it moving really, really well. I could have sprayed this panel, but I was worried that I was going to get too much spray all at once. So I decided to do the splattering and then spritz it with water so I get a very watery appearance. That mica mixes in there nicely and it creates a very beautiful shimmery effect. Again, I'm not done yet. I'm going to more add more. So now I'm coming in with that same salvage patina and shaded lilac colors, and I'm now going to ink smush on top of the ink blending and the splattering we've already done. So this is adding additional layers and texture onto our first layer, which is very milky. And then this is going to have a little bit more contrast and a little bit more texture. I'm going to let that dry. And then once it is completely dry, I'll bring in some Distress Spray Stain. This is White Picket Fence, and I'm gonna splatter this onto the background. While that's still wet, I'm also gonna bring in more of that Snow Flurries Mica Stain, and I'm gonna spray that on too, just splattering with the nozzle here so that I get um, just a little bit of texture with both of these sprays. Once that completely dried, I'm gonna bring in that Crackle Paste that I mentioned earlier. This is the Icicle Crackle Paste, and it is very liquidy. And I'm telling you that because I made a big mistake when I was using this. I got so excited to use this paste, which is very liquidy, it's watery. I ended up spilling a whole bunch of it onto my sheet here. I'm tipping the jar, which typically wouldn't be a problem with most paste, but this, because it is so liquidy, just poured right out all over my desk. I went with it. I ended up trying to pick it all up and smear it onto my background here, which by the way, does not affect any of the inks that are on top. So this is gonna get set aside to dry. It's gonna take a bit of time to get all of this paste to dry. It's a little bit of a skim coat onto my background here. It's not super thin, but it's not thick either. And this took quite a few hours to dry. I actually didn't come back to it until the next day. So I don't know the exact amount of time that it took to dry, but it did take a little bit. All right, so now I'm gonna pull out the Shimmering Snowflake stamp. It is not a red stamp, by the way. I had inked it up with some red ink prior to this project, so that's why my stamp is red. It's just stained. Just like all of Simon's stamp sets, this is a clear photopolymer, beautiful stamping results, which is what you're gonna see here. I'm inking up with Simon Says Clear Embossing Ink, and I'm gonna stamp this onto some vellum, then bring in some white fine detail embossing powder and sprinkle that right over top of that snowflake. The detail of this stamp is just amazing. And it captures all of that embossing powder really, really nicely, especially the Simon embossing ink. It's a really nice juicy ink, so it really holds that embossing powder nicely. I'll heat set that embossing powder with my heat tool so that it's completely melted, and I have a crisp white snowflake on top of this beautiful vellum. 
I'm going to pull out the coordinating dies and line this up over top of the snowflake and hold it down with a bit of purple tape while I run this through my die cut machine. I'm going to pull out my powder tool. This happens to be from Rabbit Hole. It's a new powder tool and I really am liking it. I'm using that to prep the surface of my cardstock here, which I'm stamping with one of the greetings from the Shimmering Snowflake set. You'll notice I did actually stamp this sentiment twice on two different colors of cardstock because I wasn't sure initially what color I wanted for the greeting. I'm sprinkling silver embossing powder over top of both of these sentiments and ultimately I did decide to go with the navy one. I really liked how this paired up with the colors of my card, but I did try the purple because there are, of course, the shaded lilac shades in this background too. So it was totally personal choice as to which one looked best. I liked them both, but ultimately I went for the navy. I'm fussy cutting the sentiment out. There aren't dies for the sentiment, so I just use my scissors to trim it down. And then I'm going to pop that sentiment on top of my snowflake. Once that has been adhered, then I'll add a second piece of foam tape on the back side of the snowflake. So that way I can adhere the snowflake and the sentiment directly down onto that ink blended background, which has the amazing crackle texture. I'll show you a close up of this so that you can really see how this looks. Check out the crackle details and all of that texture. It really looks like ice. I feel like I'm looking at a really beautiful icy pond or something and the snowflakes just really add to it. Okay, so now I'm going to pull out some daisy white shimmer cardstock from Paper Rose. I'm going to emboss this with the Simon Says Stamp Triangle Burst Embossing Folder. This embossing folder is beautiful. I'm going to stick it inside of my Big Shot machine and run it through with the platform that is required for doing an embossing folder. Once I have this embossed, I have this great texture that I can put behind my snowflake and my icy background. Now before I get to that point though, I am going to attach that icy background onto some silver holographic cardstock from Simon Says Stamp. I'm going to trim this down so it's slightly larger than that icy background. And this will get layered up on top of my embossed panel, which I already adhered onto an A2 white card base. I'm going to attach that final panel on top of the card base with a bit of Simon Says Stamp Dot Runner to adhere all of these layers together and check this out. The icy texture just really captures the light beautifully. It totally looks like an icy pond. I'm almost done, but I did decide to add a few embellishments. These are some silver gems and I'm gluing these down with glossy accents onto different points of the snowflake. I wanted to embellish this snowflake a bit because it's very elegant and I thought the gems would be a perfect finishing touch for some of these snowflake points. And that's going to complete my card. I love how this turned out. I love all the texture and the icy, frosty feel that this card has. It's very magical and perfect for Christmas or winter. You could totally change the sentiment to be any type of winter themed card, whether birthday, maybe a thinking of you, new year, whatever you have in mind, this set is really versatile and the card design that I'm sharing today is also extremely adaptable to many different themes, not just Christmas. So keep this in mind when you're creating something for the winter. I hope that today's project has been inspiring to you using this brand new Stamptember exclusive from Simon Says Stamp and Gina K Designs. This is the Shimmering Snowflakes set. I really love it. It's a beautiful set and I don't think it's going to last very long because Gina K sets are super popular. If you like the set, be sure to check out the links that are in the video description below if you're interested. Thanks again so much for tuning in today. I hope you were inspired. I hope you'll stop back for more crafty inspiration that I'll be sharing throughout the month. So stay tuned. Thank you again for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you all very soon with more to share, but until next time, I hope everyone has a very magical day. Bye.